It's beer o'clock on Real L Craft Beer. Today we got a beer from Chicago in America. Uh, the first time I reviewed a beer from this brewery, I actually thought that it was a Mexican brewery. Um, it was called a Mexican Lager by Cruz Blanco, and it just sounded so Mexican. Um, when I wrote, read the side of the can, I couldn't find anything on that particular can. It was probably there. I probably wasn't looking properly. The, it was actually from uh, Chicago. It says here on the side of this can, uh, Cruz Blanco Brewery, LLC, USA. It's a 355 milliliter can, 6% ABV, IPA. And it came in, picked this up in home bargains. Sometimes in home bargains, you can pick some cracking stuff up. The Mexican Lager, if you haven't tried it, from Cruz Blanco, it's well worth it. It's very good. Uh, this this one came in at £2.19 for the can. So there's a look at the can then. Uh, we're going to be pairing it today with some Bangkok Thai peanuts. Now, I picked these up in... So I picked the beer up in Home Bargains and I picked the nuts up in Sainsbury's. If you go to a large Sainsbury's store, they'll have a World Food Aisle. And I love going to the World Food Aisle because you find stuff like this. It's a metal tin. They cost me three pounds, which is probably kind of expensive. But if I was to kind of go on the internet and try and order these in especially, they probably cost me an arm and a leg, wouldn't they? So I don't mind paying three pounds for some Kokai Peanuts Coconut Cream Flavour Coated. So they sound like cream flavoured coconut covered peanuts. So there we go. We're going to get Thailand's number one snack. So we're going to get into them. Should we start? Should we get things open out into a glass, see what we get? Yeah, I was very, very impressed when I had this um, Mexican lag. And if you want to see the video, I actually put it together with Corona and Dos Equas. Da, dos Equat. Um, thinking that it was, and Cerveza Modelo, thinking that it was Mexican beer. Um, never mind. It was called Mexico Calling. It was a Mexico style beer. I'm sure people won't mind that much. Uh, we got a two finger white head. Small carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. It's a nice, hazy looking beer straw coloured it actually looks can conditioned this one uh, and if i recall the mexican lager was can conditions as well you can see there's little tiny bits and pieces floating around in the glass it's very impressive very impressive also what's really impressive is the fact that you can get some really good craft beers now in home bargains when i was getting into craft beer back in 2010 if you wanted to order an american craft beer You'd literally have to do that. You'd have to order it online from places like My Brewery Tap or Ales by Mail or Beers of Europe. Um, you might find something in your local bottle shop, but it was hard to find back in the day. Now you can just go down home bargains and pick up a beer from Chicago. On that note, let's get the aroma. Lovely spritzer-like aroma. Grapefruit, lemon, maybe a touch of white grape in there. Smells really good, a little bit of kind of sweetness coming through as well. Let's dive in. Smells good. Cheers, everybody. It's good. 
It's very good. Tangerine. Tangerine, touch of grapefruit, a little bit spicy and peppery. A little bit of sweetness coming through from the malt. It's very nice, very nice beer. A little bit of white pepper, nice amount of bitterness coming through. But for me, the main flavour is like this lovely kind of hoppy tangerine like flavour coming through. Very, very nice, very, very nice beer. And drinkable too for a 6% ABV. And they got the ABV right as well. They've called it an IPA, a hazy IPA. And when Americans call something an IPA, they're generally coming in saying, hey, this beer is 6%. If it's going to be an IPA, a hazy IPA, it's got to start off at 6% ABV. So this Chicago brewery know what they're doing. And again, I'll say it again. This is, this is good, good quality craft beer that you can pick up. Extremely local to yourself. You can pick this up in home bargains in the UK. I think that's absolutely brilliant. Really tasty, tasty, hazy IPA that. I mean, for £2.19 a can. You can't really go wrong with that. Can't really go wrong with that. If you go to somewhere like Tesco, Morrison's, Sainsbury's, Waitrose, you're going to be paying, for an IPA of that quality, you're going to be paying £2.50, £3 a can for something like that. I think that's a pretty decently priced, especially when it comes all the way from America as well. A pretty pretty decently priced IPA. Right, we'll give it a rating in a moment, but I want to, I mean, these look really cool, don't they? These look really cool. I mean, I love the fact that, look, it's a, it's a bit like that um, Sapporo beer back in the day where you kind of rip, ooh, look at that. Rip the tongue, it's like a can of dog food. <laughs> All jokes aside, I'm only messing about. Should have said a tin of beans, shouldn't I? There's the nuts. Coconut coated nuts. Oh. They're brilliant. If you've ever been on a Spanish holiday, on the beach, oh, you might remember the Shoo Shoo Man. Now, if you've been on a Spanish holiday on the beach, the shoo shoo man would walk past shouting shoo shoo, shoo shoo, and you'd call him over and he'd be selling these nuts, peanuts or almonds, some kind of lovely nut. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> and they were coated in this like sugary syrup that he, he'd made himself. It was a homemade sugary nuts and it was they were terrific we as a family we call them shoo shoo nuts this is like a tin a metal tin oh of shoo shoo nuts they are absolutely fantastic hmm So then a peanut, you can see that one there. It's a peanut with a, a coating on it, coconut coating. They're brilliant. Absolutely, and the lid, the lid seals properly as well. There's no problem there. 
putting the lid back on and just thinking to yourself, oh, I hope they don't go off. They won't go off. It's a proper sealed lid. Doesn't even want to turn around. <clears throat> My apologies for the whole kind of dog food lid. The first time I think I ever opened a can like that was for my dog food it, it, I, I could have said anything couldn't I I could have said a tin of hot dogs I could have said a tin of baked beans um, there was no there was no malice in in that comment whatsoever um, the beer the beer is terrific the beer is a fantastic nine out of ten for that price point, £2.19, that's a really good IPA for the price point. And these nuts, I think I'll be going to Sainsbury's just for these nuts alone. They are absolutely terrific. I, I was wondering if they were going to work. I was like, coconut peanuts? I mean, I'll, I'll give anything a try in life. I will give absolutely anything a try, as long as it's not fish. Stuff from the sea. Um, but yeah. They're also fantastic. They're a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.